Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for joining me today. I thought it'd be fun to do something a little bit, um, I don't wanna say different, but I feel like we've been talking about planner things like non-stop specifically this last week with the Erin Condren planner launch among a million other amazing things that they have launched. But um, yeah, I just thought it'd be really cool to talk about some of the things that have been helping me um, get through this time or just things that I've changed or adapted that I'm loving that have helped me get through this time because I think it affects everyone differently and some people are working from home some people are not working at all some people are still working full-time so I think that we're all sort of relying on different things to help us get through them so also I just kind of like a side note I've really been enjoying being in front of the camera a little bit more um, it's something that I've always struggled with so I hope that you guys are enjoying it too <laughs> Um, it, yeah, and, it, and I'm hoping to continue to do that a little bit, uh, a little bit more moving forward. So let's go ahead and get started. And these are in no particular order whatsoever, but I just kind of want to point out probably what's been very obvious is one of my favorite things is what's right behind me. And those are my kitchen cabinets. In the month of April, we took on the major task of repainting our cabinets and it was I don't even want to say a labor of love because I didn't love a single second of it. Um, I'll try to uh, insert some before and after pictures here, but um, it's something that we've wanted to do for such a long time. And we do have our house currently on the market. Uh, we'll see how things go. I'm not sure that we could have picked a worse time to put our house on the market. But when we were actually starting this process, it was about mid-February to late February and then officially did everything like the first week of March and then everything went downhill from there and it was like, well, the sign will stay outside and we'll just kind of see what happens. <laughs> and obviously, absolutely nothing has happened with our home. So we are kind of those people that when we're stuck at home, we take on very big projects and painting is usually one of the things that we always do when we were home during the hurricane last fall or last um, late summer, early fall. We painted the entire loft upstairs. Um, since being in shelter in place, we've painted our entire stairway, the kitchen cabinets. We're thinking of hitting up some bedrooms. Like painting has just always been our thing. And I have to say the cabinets, the way they turned out at the end, made it all worth it. So that's probably definitely, I know I said nothing was in any order, but that is definitely my number one favorite right now. Next up, I know that you guys have seen these everywhere, but I ordered the Erin Condren face masks. I ordered four for my family, so two in the mid-century circles and two in the neutral retro design that you can see here. I love these. One of the things that I absolutely love, though, is that a portion of the proceeds for these masks do go to a foundation to help support first responders, which I thought was absolutely phenomenal. And the other thing is the actual fabric of these masks are just amazing. I work at a medical facility. I do not provide patient care, so I do not need a medical grade mask. And I just want to reiterate, these are not medical grade. So this would be similar to making your own mask with a bandana or a t-shirt or anything, things like that, that the CDC has recommended that you can use to protect yourself. But first responders and medical workers, things like that, they rely on the medical grade ones. So since I don't do patient care where I work at, I was like, I would love fabric masks. I've had a couple donated to me, a few made for me by friends and they work, but I have to say that this is the most comfortable one so far. And I think that it's because it does say that it's 12% um, spandex. I'm not kidding you guys when I say when this is on your face, it's like instantly cooling. When you have a face mask that's all cotton, like <laughs> how do I say it without getting gross? It's like your breath gets trapped in there and things get moist <laughs> and uncomfortable. So um, I 
like these a lot. I feel like I don't get very hot in them. I love that the elastic along the side that goes along your ear right here is black because I do wear makeup. Um, and the elastic can get kind of gross when you're taking it you know, on and off and all that stuff. But I wash mine after each day. So say on Monday at the end of my work day, I take it home and I wash it in a mixture of water, Dawn dish soap and vinegar, and everything comes out. The inside is lined in this white. So if you do wear makeup or anything like that, yes, it's gonna get on there, but it's gonna wash off very, very easily. So again, I really like these. They also have um, this piece of like uh, metal up here that'll help form to your nose and the shape of your face. This is extremely helpful if you are a glasses wearer. I do wear reading glasses or the blue light blocking glasses. And if this doesn't form to your face, the air that you're breathing out is gonna come up and it's gonna fog up your glasses. This kind of helps with that. It's not perfect, but it does reduce the amount of fogging on your glasses. So I would definitely recommend these and these are definitely a favorite, especially in these times that we are living in. Another thing that I have really, really been loving is my nail polish color. I'm sure you guys have noticed in almost every video I have been wearing the same nail polish color and I'm literally re-applying um, it like every single week. It is the color Mint Candy Apple from Essie. It is, it, it's gorgeous. It works well with my skin tone. I mean, it is everything that I have wanted in sort of like this light mint, turquoise but not really color nail polish i absolutely love it it photographs well <laughs> i mean if you create content those things do matter um if the nail polish doesn't look good on you it's not gonna look well in photography so this one is definitely a favorite of mine i mean it ranks right up there with ballerina slippers and that is saying a lot i actually found this while at the grocery store trying to hunt down toilet paper <laughs> so this was definitely an unplanned purchase. It just sort of caught the corner of my eye and I was like, yeah, I'm gonna need to try that and see how it looks. And I absolutely love it. This is definitely something that I will buy again and again. So I don't think it would really be a favorites video of mine without talking about a handbag. <laughs> so since I don't work my normal schedule currently, with us practicing social distancing in my workplace as well. I am at work half the time that I was before. I used to carry a backpack and I probably would go back to a backpack when I go back to my regular work schedule. But for now, I decided to carry a smaller bag. I just don't need as much when I'm only at the office for four hours. So I actually purchased this bag back in February, I believe, not really knowing what was coming down the road. I was like, oh, this is gonna be great for the weekends, running errands, things like that. And it turned out to be my everyday bag, like starting the first week of March. And I have loved it. And it is the Rachel, um, the fossil <laughs> Rachel satchel. I knew I was gonna butcher that name. Um, but I love it because if you're familiar with fossil bags, their most popular one is the fossil Sydney satchel. And this is what a lot of people have called the replacement to the fossil Sydney satchel. I'm not sure how accurate that is, but it is indeed very similar. It has that signature, like it zippers all the way down, which makes this bag like just phenomenal. You, it's like, it turns into a Mary Poppins bag. You can fit a ridiculous amount of things in here. I have the bicolor one, so the handles and the straps are brown. The body of the bag is black. My favorite thing about this compared to the um, Sydney satchel is that you actually have two outer pockets. So I could use this side for my phone, this side for something else, keys or whatever. Um, and the Fossil Sydney satchel only comes with one pocket on the outside. Also, if you search around the internet, you can actually find replaceable um, straps for these. These actually do come off, and if you wanted to just add a different pop of color, you could definitely do that. I did find mine on eBay brand new. I am an avid eBay user. I am not afraid to go on there, but I will recommend that you do your research research the seller, um, know what you're looking for, know what you're looking for in an authentic item so that you don't waste your money. Um, but I've had nothing but good luck. I love searching around on eBay. I never impulsively buy anything on eBay. I do recommend definitely taking your time. Don't go on eBay in some sort of a rush because you might end up buying something that's not really authentic. So. I 
love this bag. I'm not gonna go into detail on what's on the inside. If you guys are interested in seeing a what's in my bag, I will definitely film that for you guys in the future, but this has definitely worked out great for me. Another thing that I have been loving this month or in the month of April, March, through all of this, is having a journal. I'm currently using the Softbound Journal from Erin Condren. You don't have to use an Erin Condren journal. I am just loving journaling specifically. Like, that's the favorite thing, not the journal. <laughs> um, this has gotten me through some emotional roller coasters over the last couple of months. I'm one of those people that really needs to express my feelings, but, um, Writing them down is probably the safest and most effective way to get them out without, you know, lashing out at someone when really I just need to word vomit somewhere and on paper is the best way. And it's not always for like negative or angry or stressed feelings. I have also used it for um, memory keeping. I've added photos in it and things like that just to kind of reflect and be able to look back on all the things that we experience through this time and it's something that I really want to make a very regular part of my life, my routine. It's just a document life, not just in my planner but also in a journal where I can express my feelings. So this has definitely been a very helpful thing through all of this and it's something that I, I can't recommend enough. I feel like we're all feeling a lot of different things and maybe feeling a lot of different things based on where you might be in your life or in your actual physical location. But this is such a helpful way to get through something like this where everything is so truly uncertain. It is no surprise or secret that this thing has been all over the internet. This little thing that people are playing with their fingers. This thing. <laughs> of those people that jumped on the Nintendo Switch bandwagon, proudly so. I play Animal Crossing. I love it. It is one of those things that fills the void of, of time where, what's the best way to describe this? I feel like when we go on social media and we see all of these productive, amazing, wonderful things that everyone's doing with all of their extra time while they're trapped at home can kind of make you feel like, well, I should be doing those things too. Agree with that, says the lady who repainted her kitchen cabinets. <laughs> but when you're not repainting or redecorating or remodeling something, you have this downtime and it's like you could read, you could watch a movie. Some of us are choosing to play games and pay a raccoon an insane amount of money for an extra room in our house. It's a lot of fun. I recommend it. Don't hate on it until you try it. I also recommend watching Cindy's videos. She is creating this bullet journal thing that is just magnificent. I love watching. It's not something that I would ever create, but I love watching along because I'm a huge fan of Animal Crossing and it's just so much fun. It's so much fun. Um, I, let me know if you guys are playing this game because yeah, I, I want to know what you guys think. All right, last but certainly not least, I don't think that this is gonna be much of a surprise at all, but one of the things that I've really been loving and that has been a very welcome distraction for me has been this Erin Condren launch of all the new things. One thing just actually fell out of my hand, but if you're part of the planner community, you know exactly what I'm talking about. If not, this past week, Erin Condren launched all of their new um, planners and products and all, their, I mean, it's like an endless list of stickers, sticky notes, different types of planners, accessories. Hi, son. Um, <laughs> Um, all this past week and I am here for it. I have been loving all of it. I love new planner season. I love setting up a new planner. It has just been, like I said, a welcome distraction from all of this stress, all of the who knows what's gonna happen next, but now I can look at my pretty planner and pretend I know what the hell's gonna happen next week. <laughs> so definitely loving this. I still haven't made a decision which planner I'm going to use. It might be several weeks before I make a final decision, but I've been having a lot of fun looking at the new items. I might have made one or two or three orders on launch day or the day after. I don't know. It, yeah. Um, <laughs> but I, I have loved it all, especially that new daily duo. That thing is beautiful. I, ah, it's, it's all so nice and it, it's definitely been a welcome distraction from life. <laughs>
All right, so that is everything for my favorites video. I would love to hear what are the things that you're loving? What are the things that are just kind of helping you get through life right now that you're really enjoying? Um, I love hearing what other people are using, loving, uh, all that stuff. I really didn't touch on any like TV shows or anything like that because we have been all over the place in that category. We jump from shows to movies to series to all kinds of things, but um, a lot of times we just have the TV on in the background for some extra background noise. I hope that you guys loved this video. Thank you so much for joining me today. If you liked this video, please be sure to give it a thumbs up. Be sure to subscribe if you haven't already. And if you are already subscribed, make sure you hit that notification bell so that you know when my videos are posted here on YouTube. As always, thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in my next video. Another thing that I, oh, what happened to the focus? Okay, okay. Uh, no, no, okay. I do hope, hmm, let's try that again. What is next? Where's my phone? Next. Oh, <laughs>